In case you're wondering, the single best part of my job is the people I meet right here on this program. And one of my new faves is Maddie St. Amand. She's a senior at the University of Chicago, soon to be earning her degree in economics. She's one of those, you know, A-listers. She's eco-major dean's list, and, and this is what happened to her last week. She joined us live to talk about this because she was mugged near campus. There she is, upper right. See? Look at the guy going after her with her backpack there. Uh, she didn't go down without a fight, though. Hell no. She did not. She actually tangled with this lowlife uh, who was trying to steal her cell phone, and she ripped a magazine right out of his gun. Um, here is what she told us on Friday. How did you know what to do? Well, my dad did go to West Point, but I have no prior experience in any self-defense training. I've never actually held a gun before two days ago. So it was pure adrenaline and my instinct in the heat of the moment to fight back. You know, this is a street that I've walked down every single day for the last four years, and I'm comfortable here. This is my turf. Since that interview, Chicago police have arrested two teenage boys who they say are responsible for an armed robbery spree on Maddie's turf. Though it is not yet clear whether either one of them was involved in Maddie's robbery. But Maddie St. Amand is back live with me again from Chicago. Hello. You've had the weekend and the news broke, Maddie, that they arrested these two guys. Have you got any updates since just before going to air if we know if these are the guys that robbed you? Hi, Ashley. Thanks so much for having me. I do not know yet if these are the same perpetrators of my attack. They were caught doing something very similar, stealing bones. So I'm very optimistic in UCPD and the Chicago Police Department that they're on the case. They're dedicating all of their resources to finding these suspects. And uh, those, those suspects were apprehended very quickly after the robberies on Saturday. Well, I'm sure they'll find out soon. And when they do, are you, um, are you wanting to be part of a prosecution? It, you know, they say press charges, but would you be wanting to cooperate and, pre and basically be part of their prosecution? Absolutely. I think it's very important that we hold these people responsible for what they're doing. Yeah. I mean, it's just life-changing for so many people. I heard that the Chicago police have been offering to, like, walk you to your classes. Is that true? Yes, UCPD has been incredibly supportive in my return to normalcy. They've offered me police escorts to and from classes, and I feel like they are really a resource for me. They're doing a great job and, and everything they can do. Is that the University Police or the Chicago Police? Which one was that? University of Chicago Police, specifically. They're a little bit more local on so campus. Then yeah, yeah. But then I also heard that you've opted not to go to classes, that you're just laying low and you're doing online learning in your apartment. Are you just that you just still trying to kind of get over the whole thing you've been through? I think, yeah, I'm laying low a little bit. I'm not scared to go to class and I will return eventually. Uh, I haven't been back on campus since the incident. I know there's an increased police presence there. So uh, I'm, lo I'm looking forward to when I do return. I think it's just a lot right now. I'm still processing everything that's going on. But thank you so much to everyone who's given me support. I felt so much love over these past few days from the school and the community, my family, my friends. So I'm, I'm looking forward to getting that's back sweet. to things. Hey. I heard that a local self-defense course trainer reached out to you and offered you uh, a free self-defense course and then something with an Uber driver. What did the Uber driver offer? Yeah, I will be taking self-defense courses now for free, so I'm super excited about that. <laughs> and an Uber driver recognized me from my story and offered to walk me to my door and stayed to make sure I got in, so the love and support has just Aww. been surreal. All right, we're going we're gonna to stay in touch with you. I uh, want to know what happens when you get the word um, from Chicago police, whether these two were, were your guys. Thank you, Maddie. Appreciate it. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.